Welcome back. As we close out the first show of the new year, I spent a little time talking with my producers, Joseph, Susie, and Derek, about ending 2020 and looking ahead to 2021. Okay, so if I am the emblem on the hood of the car or the antenna of the car we call New Day, y'all are the engine that keeps it running. <laughs> I could come up with a better analogy, but that's just what, that, what popped in here right now because other ones just didn't write. Um, but it's true. Everyone on this screen is responsible for making this show run. And it hasn't been easy during the pandemic at all. Everyone learned new things, but everyone did it, which is amazing. So my question is, now that I'm on board, Joseph, what's next? Well, as you all know, it's not just the TV industry. Every industry had to go through crazy change in 2020. So a lot of those things that we had to learn really quickly to make the show still work in COVID, we're still going to be doing in the coming year in 2021. So that means no guests in studio still. Uh, we're still taping everything over Zoom like we are right now. Um, but we're hoping that will change as COVID calms down. Um, and just, you know, for the show moving forward in the new year, uh, we still have got a really small crew at the station. It's usually just me and Amity at the station taping the show. Everyone else is working from home. Um, so it's pretty small. It's different. Um, and we are still going to be taping three new shows a week, and those will be airing on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So, yeah. Well, like you said, different. So many things. I never thought you could do a cooking segment over Zoom, and you, you, you all are the the kings and queens of that, especially Susie, who had me doing a cookie decorating cookie segment over Zoom, which actually turned out better than I thought. But um, I have a question. What do you have me do now? Take your vitamins. Just going to be a ride. Uh, we have, I think we have some fun things in store. I'd love to see you do more crafty things. Okay. So I've got a couple of those things I'm thinking about, having you do some crafts. Okay. Um, I think maybe your Italian side needs to come out a little bit because I hear you make a bolognese. So I think oh. it would be fun for us to maybe have you cook with us. Yes. I, yeah. I mean, wait, you mean share my grandma's secret yes. recipe? Share your grandma's secret recipe. Maybe we can't do the all five hours it takes, but we can you know, <laughs> through the magic of television. And then I think also people need to know about your the genre of books you like to read. <laughs> that kind of what paranormal romance sci-fi vampire thing. So we're looking for some authors that you might really love. So that's what I'm hoping. We'll learn a little bit more about you and bring that studio to life, even though we can't have the guests in the studio right now. That sounds fun, Susie. I'm actually really excited about all that, even, you know, discussing my interesting taste in books. Mm-hmm. No judgment, but maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Derek Haas. Sweet Derek Haas, you're always so good to me. I know that you're not going to throw any surprises our way. Oh, no, I would never do that. But, um, you know, last year was such a different time for everybody. And I think, you know, 2021 is not going to be too different, at least not right now. So I think we have such a great opportunity to, you know, provide people a distraction when they need a distraction. And then also, uh, give them the information that they need, um, whether it's about the vaccine or what else is going on in the world. I think we have like such a great opportunity to reach people where they're at right now. And, um, you know, I think we all kind of need a little distraction sometimes. So yeah. um, I, I hope that we can be that for people. I hope so too. I hope so too. And I just want to say thank you to all three of you and the entire New Day staff. Y'all out there, listen to me. What they do every day, what we do every day, putting the show together, it is a miracle. Y'all are miracle workers. Thank you. Well, that is so true. They are the best. And you're the best as well, because I have to tell you, I am so proud to be living in the Pacific Northwest right now. I'll tell you why. We really take care of each other. The final totals are in, and you donated 23.5 million meals through Home Team Harvest to Feed the Hungry. That is nearly triple last year's total and comes at a time when more families are facing empty cupboards. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for all you've done. I almost get emotional because there are so many families who are going to food banks for the very first time right now. Um, maybe your neighbor, you never know. So what you did was great. And also, 
Thank you for being with us on New Day. Thank you for joining us every day. We want to hear more about you. Find us on the intermediate social webs. Let us know what your news resolution is. And thank you for spending time with us today. Stick around for King 5 News at noon, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at 11.